<laughs> this week on Pop Stars, the girls sing to the boss. How could it be rainy when we have And are thrown into a media circus. Everybody's tense. Well, I've got to tell you, somebody better bloody debrief somebody real quick because Houston, here is Tuesday. we've got a problem. And the girls get to toss around some names. Well, I really like porn stars. <laughs> Tiffany Wood has confirmed her position within the group and everybody is delighted with the results in the studio. But now a new challenge. Having Sean's support to take this whole thing where we want it internationally is absolutely vital. Chris Moss needs to show off the new lineup tomorrow morning with an unaccompanied performance to his boss, the chairman of Warner Music, Sean James. You sound like Molly Meldrum or something. Molly! He's the same suit, industry. One wears a hat. He's a manager. <laughs> That's the difference. He's Chris's boss. That is absolute classic. That is one of the Molly. best lines. Sean, that wasn't the setup, man. <laughs> the performance to the chairman will be within 24 hours. And with imminent release of their first single, Poison, the pressure is on the girls to decide a name. Um, oh, we thought of a couple. We thought of Supernova as a bit of a favourite and probably Frock. Because we felt like Frock. Frock was like uh, Frock off. <laughs> The girls are anxious because this will be the first time they've performed together outside the studio, with little or no time for rehearsal. It's such a different ball game when you're coming out of the studio into doing a cappella, doing five part harmonies, which you know I'm not used to. I've done that since I was a kid. But hopefully we can all pull it off, and he'll love it, and you know, it'll all happen. So, but I'm very nervous. As soon as you're all smiling, the tone yeah, immediately yeah, matters. Yeah, yeah. This is my first time live with the girls, and. Um, so I'm sort of a, a bit more nervous, but I've done a cappella stuff before and um, it wasn't hard, but being the chairman of Warner, so I'm going to freak out a little bit. Um, obviously today is, is really important um, with the whole change and, and Tiffany coming in and uh, just wanted to bring everybody in and see how you work together as a group and based on that, if it all sort of works out well, then we go sort of forward with the deal. So. Um, what we want you to do is move over there or get yourself comfortable. You. One, two, three, four. You better stop, better run away. You better listen what I have to say. I'll keep you hanging on the line. With just one kiss, I will blow your mind. Your desperation makes you feel insane Fever running high, you will never be the same Don't you treat me bad, don't you make me sad Our love could be deep as the ocean If you can't be true, I got news for you just remember I can be poison Some people say that I'm hard to tame They know that trouble is my middle name Too dangerous, what you want from me This chemistry in my body I've got you scared and now you're running mine It really is. Um, you sound great. That type of vocal performance, a cappella, is just so important, and you do it wonderfully well. So, congratulations. I think we've got ourselves a deal there, guys. How are you? Pressure's off, but opinion is still divided on the name. I like Kismet heaps because it means destiny. Sure. No. Square Fox, I thought something would be abstract, you know? No.
The girls are continuing with their styling in preparation for the album sleeve photo shoot and music clip. I think I'm ready for a bit of a change, but we'll see what happens. No Sharon Ma is stylist to the stars. Even a man's haircut in her salon won't leave you much change out of $150. Thing. I, I, if anything, I just want like, like clean lines. Right. Yeah. One option, very extreme, shave it off. Um, when you say shave, number two. All over. Yeah. <laughs> um, given that your hair's very curly, it's got a bit of straightener in there, what we'd all like to see is a wee bit more length. I'm going to show you what that will look like on you. What are you getting now? I'm thinking about... No, she's got one option which involves me shaving my head to about a number two. With, with like a full copper colour on it. I'm thinking about it. It's about you holding an identity that you're confident with, then people relate to that. Sophie, I've already cut it and we've layered it a lot more and it looks a lot more shattered. She'll have a lot more fun with that. I love it. She's just great. She's just like a little sex machine. She's gorgeous. I looked like a librarian before, but now I'm tough. Belinda, the colour's starting to happen. It's a chocolatey caramel colour, which will make it look thicker and heavier. Put a bend in this section so you can see the difference. Have a look at this in the light and when the studio lights hit it. I want a bit more colour. I want a few more slabs of colour to break up the texture, so we're going to go back in and do that again. I know what they're doing here, which is great. What we've got on Belinda is a little bit of shag powers. <laughs> it's gorgeous hair. I mean, we can push it to wherever we want to go now. And I mean, she just looks beautiful. The last thing I want is for you to be feeling... Katie's still got to make the big decision. Stay as she is, or shave the head. She's been given a 30-minute time to have a look and see what she wants to do. This is the style. We're just going to keep the foils in there. Having a bit of an aluminium look. And lighten the top a bit and, and keep the bottom darker. So, um, bit of a Jennifer, bit of a Jennifer Lopez uh, feel to it. It's like, it's a bit glamorous, isn't it? We're going to do a really, really, really bright red, which is just quite my alley, and then we're going to chop it. Katie Underwood is a fashion victim, but even she's balance. not ready for a shaved head all together. yet. Yeah. What we actually want is a, a really nice wave. Tiffany's the opposite. She wants more. We've got the, uh, the do bitsy, bitsy things at the front there for the little zigzag look that you'll love so much. Um, or we do the multi-directional thing where I'm just like all over the place. And then for the special shoot, we go up with the back and then do like a funny thing. You've got nice hair, it is Oh. So you're not real blonde? Oh, I'm ashy colour. Yeah, not really so you're real blonde. Perhaps I am, but my boobs are real. <laughs> Belinda, Susie Elliman from 2GB. Thanks. With the identity of the girls revealed, the media circus grows by the day. Everybody who's anybody wants to interview them. It's a rainy day, though. How could it be rainy when we have pop stars with us? Triple M, the Andrew Denton Breakfast Show, and we're privileged to have with us two of the winning pop stars, Belinda and Sally. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Your lives spun on the head of a pin in recent weeks. <laughs> and they were a bit dizzy. Four or five weeks ago, nobody knew who you were, even your parents. Sometimes <laughs> have to be reminded. You have to stick post-it notes to your forehead saying, I'm Belinda, I'm Sally, and now <laughs> the world has beaten a path to your doors. Is it fun? It's great. Yeah. Exciting. While Sally and Belinda oh, yeah. hit the yeah. airwaves, Katie and Sophie have an early call on morning television. Yeah. Up to the yeah. Under the ever watchful yeah. eyes of management. Bag, so to speak. We can enjoy sort of going out together a bit more, so it should be good. Yeah. Yeah. I find it hard if someone says, say this, say that. I'm like, no, I'm not going to say that because, you know, I'm not a good actor. And if I was saying it, then everyone would just be looking at me going, yeah, right, well, you're a load of crap. So, um, no, I think I'll, I'll just take it as it comes and, um, and answer, answer things honestly and and smile if I'm happy and frown if I'm not. The amount of media attention is totally unexpected. Nobody ever imagined how much they would get. Never expected to, to sort of open, you know, the Telegraph every second day and have something on pop stars. It had pop stars affecting the stock markets and pop stars seen here at this club and that whatever. And it's seen a lot bigger than I initially expected, definitely. There are hurdles you're going to have to cross in your career. We've got questions for you, which are going to help us all determine if you're going to make it in this industry. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't so feel any pressure. No. Oh, no, 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 not at all. 
It's PMT week in the pop star's home. <laughs> is it more like A, a tampon commercial, all you chicks dancing around a fire hydrant laughing? B, a bear pit lined with chocolate wrappers. I'd go to chocolate wrappers. Yeah, I really yeah. was about to say chocolate loyally. Yeah, hey, you want five girls in one house. That's mm. got to be tough. For searing honesty, though, full marks for that. Pop stars have a photo opportunity with Prince Charles. Sally, which part of his body do you grope for the cameras? Oh, golly gosh. I'd have to say his ears. I'd have to say that too! His ears? You wouldn't go for the royal jewels? No. No, I'm not, not really interested, to be honest. <laughs> Look, you've heard it here first. You're going to make it. Yeah. We've just decided. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You go without no, you blessing. Go, no. Yeah. Pop stars, we'll be watching. Hello, Dad. Yeah. Guess what? They want to interview you. One of the best the music clip directors in the country, Mark Hartley, has been brought in by Warners to create a clip for television that will accompany the release of the girl's first single. So it's crazy to think that all of a sudden you're turning into this homogenous mass in a clip, because it's, it's not you. You know with TLC, how they have their own... It's always their feature. The girls already have strong views of their own. Mark has now got to make their ideas work on film. to look on the girls, that should come from the girls dealing with the stylist and also their own... Comes yeah. from the bottom up, yeah. from the top down. Sure. I'm more of the laid-back Janet Jackson in the lounge room sort of thing, all that sort of stuff. I imagine watching the film clip and waiting for the next girl to come on, cutting from, say, Sally doing <coughs> her bit to, you know, Katie doing her bit. That, that individual expose is really important because they are going to want to see, oh, well, that's, that's you know, Belinda's been into disco. How big is a disco ball going to be? <laughs> that's the good thing about clips, you know, you can have surreal elements that mean nothing, to, that have nothing to do with anything, but yeah, right in the manner of sticking them in a music video, they, they don't seem out of place and they fit. Now they've gone, now we can eat my pigs. He will come back within a few days with drawings of the sex. Tony, he's great. I think he's really I think he's got his finger on the pulse. I don't watch much of uh, the hits or anything like that. I usually watch cartoons, so I have no idea. So when they were asking, I thought, please don't ask me, please don't ask me what one's my favourite because I have no idea. He's great. Really lovely. Yeah. Should be good. I like to play him and make a photo. Good on you, yeah, Tiffany. <laughs> he was impressed. He was shaking his little shoes. Yes. <laughs> uh, if he doesn't, he soon will be. We're coming. We're here. How far do you want us to go? Oh, We've been singing the recording studio, all the publicity is purely on the television show and on the, the print media that's been out. I mean, once the music comes out, the dynamics are going to change completely again. It's going to be another another backflip or a side turn or whatever we want to call it. And if the response to the music is as good as the television show, we could be looking at, again, twice as much publicity as we started with. Pop Stars is a, it's a creation for television. So I think there is part of it in which no one's really interested in hearing them sing. Maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised, but I sincerely doubt it. I know how hard we're working. I know the quality of music that's coming out, um, and as do the people that, that are working with us. So I'm really quite happy at the moment for those reports to be out because they're the same people that are going to be turning around in another month's time once they've heard the single or they've heard the album going wow, these girls actually really do have something to offer. So I'm, I'm quite patient about it. I'm quite happy to sit back and wait for the, for the critics to turn. And if they don't, again, I mean, price of fame, as people say, there's always going to be someone who's, who's going to cut you down and going to say something nasty, but that's, that's part of the game. <laughs> Every day is a hectic schedule to complete both the single and album with producers like Tommy Farragher. How do you put up with a camera being poked in your face all the time? Interviews with journalists who are looking for the exclusive that will sell their papers and having to meet with sponsors who want their money's worth from being associated with the girls. I've seen you on TV before. Have you? <laughs> the key thing is we offer unlimited access as well. Unrestricted access. Conservative men in suits. There you go, you're looking at yourself. Can see potential dollar signs in pop stars. Yeah. Go on, connect. Venus rising, just because it sounds cool. No. Um, I thought of Supernova. Agreement and decision on the name of the group is proving to be as difficult as deciding on a style for the girls' first music video. 
Yeah, frame your feet out. Yeah. yeah. Whatever's going to be easiest on the The day. girls may be accused of being a manufactured group, <laughs> but they have always yeah, insisted and been along. given the freedom of controlling their image and being involved in everything. I'll take the mauve outfit with the white boots and the black outfit. We'll see what goes best on the set when I stand in front of it. It's a Japanese name, so it's all that rice paper. Yeah. That rice that paper. From the rack that we looked at for you yesterday, do you reckon that there's something on there? The only option was a red dress. Mm -hmm. Orange. I, I wouldn't go too brown, because the last thing you want to do is get lost yeah, in Yeah, well, that's so the thing. Anything brown. vibrant would be better. Stylists Nahil and Nazinga and Nuno Karaskaleo will be selecting clothes for the music clip they think will capture the girls' images. It's not going to be as easy as they think. Spin, work the wall, jump from thing to thing. I wonder if we can um, add your girl pants to that. So what? Making a full skirt thing. No. Whereas as a, as a salon. Like yeah, something you can play with. No. Mm -hmm. um, if we only add gold, I want either gold shoes or gold jewelry. And you can't be with that. Gold swimmers underneath to tie it in. As, and gold as bra opposed to the in. pink thing underneath. Same shirt, though, because it's a see through. Maybe your gold bra. I'll try it, yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I don't know if you like yeah. the, the tank top, but it's a bit heavy. We can take it as alternative, the gold lace top as well. Oh, yeah. 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 And you're happy to dance without shoes? I prefer sandals or thongs. I'm not really that happy to dance without them because I keep catching myself because it's too long. I guess we just have to see what stuff looks like in front of the set. And if it looks bad, we just change it, yeah, won't use it. Ultimately, look, it's whatever looks good through the camera and things... There are as many opinions on the styling as there is about the name. Like, um, like an Egyptian goddess. Well, I really like porn star. But I think that might be a bit, because it's a G-rated show, we don't want to be able to use that, but I think it'd be really cool. That anymore? I was actually flicking through a magazine and, and Bardo, uh, there was a picture of Bridget Bardo and she's beautiful. I thought that'd be a good name too. No. We want Bardo. She's only a new member. Bardo. As I was saying before I got really interrupted, I think it's a very old name because it's an old person's last name. So that's how I see it. Yeah, but we're not legends, honey. I don't know what this shit is. He's going to up the The girls are concerned that the music clip is well behind schedule. That has the wrong Apparently. name. Pictures of your sets. Yeah. Right. That she's, well, she's got stylus for that we haven't even seen. So these are all Black sets. Black and white. Okay. All right, here we go. And the eventual arrival of the set designs causes further concern. Right. Right. Mm. I can't really see it. Mm. Okay, this is what you've got is you've got a swing, you've got a little bell because you're in a bird cage, and your yeah, little door's off to the right. It looks a bit dark there, but if you look Talkie on the small one, so it will be open. Yeah, well, where's that? That? Yeah. that was supposed to be mine, but now it's hers. I had a bed. Or a couch. Yes. I had a fish bowl here. This goes Chris Moss from right. Warners is managing to control the mounting unease about the music all clip. Sheets blowing all down. That's what I do. Yeah, I think so I'm but the set designers haven't come up with what Tiffany was expecting. They've done them exactly what you. But they've done nothing. They've taken a bit of a license. Yeah. Where do you want to be? I have crystals everywhere. Yeah. Can I get a friggin' chocolate box? Hello. Benches. It doesn't have to be an obvious reflection of you. It's not a mirror. Oh, no, no, it's no, taking all elements. Other than I and, yeah. the no, so I, I'm the, only, that, the only one I don't think we can get away with that, that I have a problem with is, is Tiffany Vinnie Dolls. What, what, what I want is what some sheets on it. Like, I want a fish bowl and I want something to sit on. Then why isn't the healer involved in this? Telling exactly. the girls what they're doing. She's styling clothes for the, for the video shoot. Right no, 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 no. Yeah, but, but Nahila yeah, has yeah. been telling... Nahila's getting... This they is what are. I'm telling... Like, there's think? some serious s*** that's got to be worked out. It's because you've got to visualise it, Tiffany. Like, during that, that's another room going in there. You could be coming out. It's what you make of it. You tell me what you want. What you want us to do. There, there, Eventually, the problem with Tiffany's set is resolved. Yeah, I had my little bowl with my little fish. It will be changed. To her specifications. Yeah. But wardrobe is another issue My for everyone. Are you talking to Grant? Yeah, I'm talking to the world here, mate. Well, you better bring him in here because we've got a problem. Houston, we've got a problem. So Nahila's gone off working out a wardrobe for the girls that nobody's spoken to them about for the video. Right. And no one's spoken to me about it, and I'm sure they haven't spoken to you. So are we going to turn up on Saturday to the video and everyone's going to be all over the shop? Well, no, well, we, I just got a call from Mark. We should get him on the conference and work out what he's Yeah, but that, that's Mark. Mark's going to come up and film whatever's put in front of him with the sets yeah. and the way the girls are dressed. I know, but... But the and, problem we have here... Hang on, he and the healer have spoken. All I haven't had is have either Mark or the healer debrief me on what they've discussed. Well, I've got well, to tell you, somebody better, buddy, debrief somebody real quick because here it is Tuesday.
and yet no one really knows. The issue of wardrobe has been thrown back to Michael. Meanwhile, Warners are gearing up for the release of the girls' first single. These are the people that are really uh, the most important cog in the wheel, as in what's necessary, because they take it to the streets. And then the in-stores. Yeah, Parramatta and Miranda, they're Miranda. locked in. Just the expectations are huge at the moment. If it ends up being the way we think it might, it's pretty scary. <laughs> the last in-store they had there was um, NSYNC, yeah. and that was 3,000. Who was that? Exactly. <laughs> they had 3,000 people. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Cheers. OK, this is a, a very auspicious occasion because what we're just about to introduce to you is Bardo.